Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. The other day I made my video on my strawberries that I freeze dried, okay? And I said that I'm gonna go ahead and try to make some powder to see if I can mix it and see if I like it. And um, in my sink over here, I have those other 16 pounds of strawberries soaking to get them clean. And I gotta figure out if I want to, um, if I do like this idea, I could just throw this through my food processor or my um, Vitamix, um, which I'll probably use my Vitamix. And, um, and or uh, there is actually, I'll, I'll link a ball um, thing below this that you could actually make like a canned version of like a strawberry lemonade um, that also I still have my lemons in the back refrigerator that I have to do something with. But I've been trying to figure out what do I want to do and I might just, if this works out, I'll go ahead and just do one tray in the freeze dryer. I'll get that done and see if I actually like it, which it should be the same as this, so that's going to be kind of stupid. If I like this, then I'll go ahead and um, do up a few trays, and I'll probably can some too. So I'll bring it down here and show you here. Now I just have my little three and a half cup KitchenAid out here. I just have a little bit of water in my glass. And I'll throw just a little bit in here. I don't want to waste too much because if I don't like it, then I just have strawberry powder and that's just not going to be cool. You know, you don't want to waste something that tastes so yummy, you know. Again, try to get as much air out as possible. My neighbor hasn't been over yet. Pick out how much strawberries she might want. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on, make sure this is tight. so good powdery and stuff. So what I'm just going to do is take this and so I know about how much to mix. I'm going to go ahead and just bring this over to one side. Probably one heaping teaspoon right now. I'll do the little whirly gig. Now this is probably Probably about four to five ounces of water ish. Get my whirly gig out here. Well, that turned red really nice. Now, obviously, with this, you can do with or without sugar, or with with or without any of like the the sugars that you might use in your family. All right. Give you a, bring it up here. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes here. That's really not that bad. Um, I don't know this a little more in here. I mean, obviously, it would be a lot sweeter with like some sugar, you know. Um, but obviously, you'd have to figure out how many teaspoons of this would go into the glass that you're using, and so on and so forth. Wow, okay, yes, obviously it'd be better if it was cold and I had some ice in there. Um, that is really good. Um, so I will be going ahead and taking some of these strawberries that's in my fridge. Um, I'll go ahead and temporarily just put this in a container to make this airtight uh, to keep this uh, so it doesn't go bad. But that is very good. And like I said, it doesn't have any sugar added to it right now. I'm gonna try a little bit of sugar in there to see how it tastes with, the with and without the sugar. But um, yeah, this is definitely something that you're gonna wanna try if you have access to a freeze dryer. Now, I don't know for sure if this would be the same if you dehydrated it or not, but I'm pretty sure it would be. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever done this and what did you do to make yours taste really good. I'm sure we're all curious. So thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.